on November 14, 2024, China officially announced plans to deploy its newest fifth-generation style fighter, the J-35, on its aircraft carriers. This development represents a significant leap forward in the country's naval aviation capabilities, showcasing its growing technological prowess and strategic ambitions. Developed by AVIX Shenzhen Aircraft Corporation, the J-35 is China's second fifth-generation fighter following the J-20. Unlike the J-20, which is optimized for land-based operations, the J-35 is specifically tailored for deployment abroad aircraft carriers. Its compact design and advanced style features position it as a versatile platform for modern naval warfare. The J-35 stealth capabilities are enhanced by radar-absorbing materials and an airframe optimized for a reduced radar cross-section. These features make it harder to detect, providing an edge in contested airspace. Additionally, its a Vunic suit and weapon systems allow it to perform a variety of roles, including air superiority missions, precision strikes, and reconnaissance. The fighter's ability to operate from aircraft carriers is a crucial element of its design. Its size and weight are optimized for carrier deck operations, and its structure is robust enough to withstand the stretches of catapult launches and arrested landings. The J-35 were initially joined the J-15, currently the primary fighter abroad the Liaoling and Shandong, China's two active aircraft carriers. While the J-15 has demonstrated its effectiveness, its lack of stealth and heavy weight design make it less suitable for high threat environments. The J-35 addresses these shortcomings, offering stealth and versatility. It is expected to form the backbone of the air wing for Fujian, China's third aircraft carrier. The Fujian's electromagnetic catapult systems allow for a friction launch of heavier and more fuel-laden aircraft, enhancing the J-35's operational range and payload capacity. The combination of the J-35 and the J-15 enables the complementary approach to carrier operations. The J-35 excels in penetrating enemy defenses and conducting precision strikes while the J-15's heavier payload is ideal for large-scale bombardments. The deployment of the J-35 comes amid rising tensions in the Indo-Pacific, where territorial disputes in the South China Sea and Taiwan Strait dominate geopolitical concerns. The J-35 enhances the People's Liberation Army Navy's ability to project power and defend China's territorial claims, directly challenging regional adversaries and global powers like the United States. The J-35's introduction underscores China's intent to compete with the U.S. Navy's F-35C, widely regarded as the benchmark for carrier-based fifth-generation fighters. While the F-35C has advantages in operational experience, network integration, and proven reliability, the J-35 is a clear signal that China is closing the gap in naval aviation technology. Comparison with regional competitors The US F-35C This fighter leads in terms of combat experience, advanced network integration, and sensor fusion. However, 
the J-35 submersions challenges U.S. dominance and may prompt further advancements in American naval aviation. Japan's FX and South Korea's KF-21 While these programs focus on developing advanced fighters, neither country has yet fielded a carrier-based stealth fighter. The J-35 gives China an edge in regional naval aviation capabilities. India's twin-engine deck-based fighter this indigenous project is still in development, making the J-35 a step ahead in immediate operational capability. Despite its potential, the J-35 faces hurdles. Its performance and reliability in real-world carrier operations are yet to be proven. Carrier-based aviation demands rigorous testing under harsh conditions, including star water corrosion, high-impact landings, and operational integration with other naval assets. Another challenge lies in ensuring the J-35's seamless integration within China's evolving carrier strike groups, which include surface ships, drones, and airborne early warning systems. Effective coordination with will be critical for leveraging the fighter's capabilities in joint maritime operations. The J-35 represents more than just a technological milestone. It signals a shift in China's military strategy. As Beijing seeks to establish itself as a global maritime power, the J-35 will play a pivotal role in its carrier operations, supporting missions ranging from power projection to area denial. In long term, the J-35 may also serve as a platform for export opportunities, allowing China to extend its influence to countries seeking affordable fifth-generation capabilities. Its deployment will likely intensify the arms race in the region, prompting adversaries to invest in countermeasures and advanced technologies. The J-35 marks a significant step forward for China's naval aviation by fielding a fifth-generation style fighter designed for carrier operations, China has signaled its intent to challenge U.S. dominance and assert its position as a leading maritime power. While it faces challenges in operational integration and reliability testing, the J-35's capabilities make it a formidable competitor in the evolving landscape of modern warfare.